Welcome to a very special episode of Searching for MacGuffin with your host, George, Gabe, and Link, and a very special guest back once again, the Sup? producer. That's right. The That's producer. all I've got to say. So we're here in this holiday season, spending time together with friends and family, and while you're at home with your friends and family, enjoying Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day, I thought that we would give you guys a little window into some of our experiences. Um, I had this idea for this episode, or we had this idea, rather, when we, we got together to watch this brand new um, Christmas movie, a 8-Bit Christmas, was that the name of the movie? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's on HBO Max, free advertisement, HBO Max, if you want to sponsor the show, by all means. Uh, what do you guys think about this? Do you I think if they sponsor us, they expect nudity. <laughs> we just talked about a. We're talking about a big Christmas though. But if and, HBO sponsors us, someone's got to show a nipple. But but that. <laughs> <laughs> but that movie is on HBO Max, and it's a family friendly. It's basically PG, I think. Every everything that they put out has an Emmy. Yeah, yeah, Emmy just title. Everything. Yeah. yeah. It just at some point that explosion in the movie, huh? pretty amazing. Oh yeah, that's pretty crazy. We're not here to talk about Eight Big Christmas per se, but we're gonna talk about what Christmas is like, especially in this uh, subculture that we exist in. So we got together, went on a streaming service, shared this movie, and the movie's about um, it has a really good theme. It's okay. The movie was okay. What'd you guys think? That was right. I really enjoyed it. I yeah. liked it. I yeah. thought it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. Um, it's about a kid and the story about that one Christmas where he really wanted the NES, right? And it just got me thinking about what some of the most memorable Christmas in your history were. So we're here to talk about that, play some games, share some time with family. What was your most memorable Christmas? I guess I'll start. Um, I think my most memorable Christmas, which is weird, we... We wanted to to take a trip down memory lane and, and kind of think about these Christmases. And I realized some of them are like blended together. Really? Yeah. I don't know why it's like, there's one particular Christmas that stands out for me, I think, um, which it would have to be, um, we were at my grandmother's house and it was like the whole family got together and we typically open our, our presents at midnight. Mm -hmm. So... The whole family to got together and you know it it was just there's something about like when because we have a big family so when the family gets together it's like it's like an event mm -hmm. and it's it's just a it's just a really great time um everyone's like making jokes and eating good food and all that um but i remember um i think once it was past midnight there was a like you just hear music mm -hmm. start playing i'm not sure what the song was um but Everyone's like, what's happening? Like, especially the kids. Um, we were like, what's happening? And the next thing, the next thing I know, it's like on the top of the stairs, it's Santa Claus. And it's a, it's a dude dressed up as Santa Claus. And the whole time, I'm like, spoilers for our listeners. Sometimes dudes dress up <laughs> as Santa Claus. I'm like, who? Cause I didn't really believe in Santa Claus as a mm -hmm. kid. Um, and I was just trying to figure out who is that? And then he came down with like an electric guitar and like what? a sack. Yeah. I think it might have been. Were you playing guitar or was Jonathan playing guitar? Was I playing guitar? I don't know. I, I've been through some. I've been through some. Uh, some phases. Phases, yeah. I think it was your brother's guitar then. Um, and yeah, he wasn't really playing. He was just like hitting the, the strings. Mm -hmm. um, but like that. Santa now. Santa, yeah. yeah. But that memory is like so ingrained. He had. Um, like, he had, like, a bag full of, like, gifts within it, and then he just, like, was giving it around to people. And then once he got down, I'm like, oh, my grandpa. This is still really cool. Um, and, I mean, I guess a lot of people, like, have those memories, associate those memories with, like, those gifts that they got. Mm -hmm. um, and it's if it's that Christmas, it's probably, I referred to it, I think, in the video game episode where we were talking about, um, like, iconic game moments for us. Mm -hmm. And one of those was when... Um, I convinced my parents to get me Lord of the Rings for the Game Boy SP, mm -hmm. and I um, before like my parents would, my mom would leave for the day for work, and when I get home from school, 
um and she was like there's like a like an hour or two um break where she wasn't home yet and i just kind of delicately open the present just so enough that it doesn't taste like it's ripped it's just mm-hmm. like tape and i would take out the game and play it and then by the time christmas rolled around i'm like i had to act surprised i'm like oh my god thank you so much and the whole time i already beat the game <laughs> and um but as far as like gift wise i think that's what what it was but as a memory i think the santa like my grandpa's santa claus coming down the stairs um it's definitely uh very pivotal for me i think it was really great Wow, was that way more sentimental and emotional than any of us expected right off the bat? Yeah, yeah for absolutely. sure. <laughs> That's going to be tough to follow up. Yeah, that was... Okay. Like saying, I think I'll start. <laughs> you should have been last. Yeah. <laughs> that, that I can go last. I'll say it after me. <laughs> okay. Just repeat it. All right. Who else wants to share? I can go. I think for me, it was 1999, December 25. It was Saturday. I wake up early in the morning because I heard some noise in the living room. So I go to investigate, and as I'm walking to the hall, I find my mom. I'm like, okay, mommy, what are you doing here? You get me? I didn't think anything of it. Not realizing that I caught her in the act of putting presents there, Mm -hmm. and thus uh, (laughs) catching Santa. One of the better acts to catch your mom. Oh, yes, yes. (laughs) I'm the only act you want to catch your mom. (laughs) I'm the only one. And I asked her, oh, what are you doing? He goes, oh, she's, you know, she played it off. Oh, she's like, oh, I heard something in, over there in the, in, in the living room. You want to go check it out? Let's go check the tree. I heard something there. I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm like six years old. I'm following my mom. He goes, oh, look, there's a little, there's a little box there with, with your name. You want to go open it? And it was only me and my mom that were up at that time. No one else was up. So all the presents were still there. I'm like, oh, is, is this cheating? <laughs> I don't have to wait for my siblings? But okay, huh, I'll take this. And I open it. And it's a Game Boy Yellow Pokemon edition, Pikachu edition. Beautiful. And it, yeah, it was like love at first sight. And I f- honestly feel like that's the best gift I've ever gotten for Christmas from my parents. They peaked because all the gifts afterwards weren't as you good. You couldn't compare. You could not compare them, yes. And I love that Game Boy as if it were my own child. I felt like at six I became a parent. Mm-hmm. And I even lost that Game Boy like in another country, but somehow it came back to me. Because that's what true love does. It always comes back. Wow, that's a real Christmas magic story so, yeah. right there. So that, that's honestly my favorite Christmas. And then one of the most funniest in my, in my, <laughs> in my mind is, is, I'm not sure, was it last year or two years ago? Mm-hmm. With Nicholas and, <laughs> and the plaid. Oh, yeah, you gotta. Oh, man. Oh. That's my nephew. You, go, go ahead. So yeah, so. For those of you who don't know, George is my brother-in-law. He married my sister. Gabriel is his, George's nephew. Um, so Gabriel's like my cousin. He's and, my beloved uncle. But look, yeah. But, and our families are really close, so I spent Christmas with them. Since I was a teenager, we started, since my sister started dating George, we started spending Christmas t- together. I think it was two years ago, like the one right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And Gabe, uh, George's uh, nephew, Nicholas... I don't even know how it goes. Oh, well, like, so basically, you know, he, he was still a kid. He was underage, so he was getting presents like from eight, everyone, eight 17, right? 17, yeah. Yeah, so he's getting a lot of presents, you know? And he opens the first one. And what's the first present? Pajamas. Yeah, it's like plaid pajamas. Like, like green, green and plaid, blue yeah. pa- plaid pajamas, right? And we're like, oh, okay, that's nice, plaid pajamas. And then he opens the next present from another family member. What was it? It was a plaid shirt. A plaid shirt in the exact same... It was the exact same color. Yeah. Same pattern, same design. And then he opens up another present. Plaid scarf. I think it was a yeah, scarf. Yeah, plaid scarf. They're going to travel, same you know. Co- New Year's color. in North Carolina. Same exact pattern. And just present after present. And none of none of the people that bought him the present knew that that's what they were getting. <laughs> exactly. You think it'd be like coordinated yeah. attacks. Uh-huh. Like, you think they're all just like, we're just going to get them the same thing. This is hilarious. No, it was all, like, separate people gave him this gift separately, and they just fell in love with his pattern. It was as if his personality to everyone in his family was this specific plaid pattern. Like That's amazing. And it was the funniest thing ever. No, <laughs> that once amazing. He, when he opened the second one, we busted we out laughing. stop laughing. <laughs> then when he opened this, I think it was a scarf. Yeah. I think we, we, I we lost it. it. We died. It I just, literally died. Yeah. It. That's pretty funny. At least to us, it was. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it translates. <laughs> yeah, it <can. laughs> yeah. Hopefully you. It was funny, guys. Trust. Yeah, yeah we just trust. Believe us. Trust, fam. 
Uh, I guess I'll go next. Yeah, um, the producer speaking. So like Link's, well, similar to Link's, mine is a gift. But sadly, it wasn't a Game Boy, a Pikachu mm. edition. Mm. It was a dog. Oh, oh, that's a nice gift. Yeah. So, you know, I was five and it was Game one of those. Boy? Pikachu? Yeah, it should have been, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was five and it was one of those years where, you know, as a kid, you just, you really want a dog and you're just like, oh, I'll pick it up. I'll pick up after it and I'll, I'll bathe it. No, you won't. And that's not true. Yep. Yeah. But um, they eventually gave in and. I remember being so confused. You know, my dad brought in this huge box. He left the the top, and it was just this little dog. And that dog was like my best friend for years. Wow. Sadly, she passed away in like 2017, mm-hmm. and it destroyed me. The Lord took her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I, I was raised with that dog. That dog was my everything, and that's definitely my most memorable gift. Oh wow! Yeah. I'll go back to it's funny that like so many of them. That's were... such a downer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Gabo should have been. I, I was actually gonna like... follow up with statistics about like how many um, dogs are given away during Christmas and then abandoned immediately to shelters oh, and, and euthanize. And I was gonna tell our wow. listeners to don't give little kids dogs for Christmas, but don't give kid little kids dogs. Period. Yeah. <laughs> They're not ready for it. They're if not. you're not gonna take care of it. No. Well, in my situation, it was fine. Yeah, it, that was a happy ending, yeah. but then it died, and then it got sad. But but it lived a good life. <laughs> so yeah, it was like a sidetrack. That episode of Cowboy Bebop, where like Jet, the live action one on Netflix, do not watch it. Ignore the story. <laughs> he like gives a dog to his daughter, and then like his ex wife gets upset about it. And I was like, yeah, she's right. Like, don't give. What? You don't even live with them. You're just like, here's a dog that nobody asked for. Bye. Nah, man. He tried to give his daughter a doll. He couldn't get a doll. He's like, let me just get her this dog I found. Yeah. Anyways. Don't watch it. <laughs> the video game for me, it, mine was a video game related too. It's funny. Yeah? It's like video games and Christmas seem to be pretty synonymous. I wasn't old enough to go through the NES craze because like when it came out, I was only a couple years old. But in 92, I was eight, if my math is correct. And it was the perfect time for me to get the Super Nintendo. And I'll never forget how revolutionary this Christmas was for me. I was away. I was in New York. I was traveling back to family, spending time with my older brothers. And I think they convinced my parents to get this for me. And, like, it was sold out everywhere, like every Nintendo launch ever, you know. And the best part about it was I didn't even know what video games were. I Since I didn't have an NES, like, I was like, what is this box? You plug it into the TV. And for the first thing for you to play is Super Mario World. Boy, it blew my mind. And I didn't sleep for weeks at a time. And I think like every year and around Christmas time, usually if I'm not busy with something else, I replay Super Mario World. And it takes me like 45 minutes to beat. It took me like 45 days or more mm-hmm. back in the day. But yeah, the, the Super Nintendo, that was a mistake probably for my parents because I think it was... Yeah, the, the Game Boy also was a mistake <laughs> Started my obsession with video games. Yeah, it was just, it was the first step in what gets us to here today, doing this show with you guys about all of this, like games, movies. Yeah. I mean, we could be, you know, doing worse stuff. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. (laughs) Can you tell that story of when your dad got you the wrong thing for Christmas? Because I think it's such a beautiful Christmas story. Okay, that's the sentimental one. And I hope I can do it justice since you're like, Making me pull it out now, and I wasn't planning to. I thought the one you were gonna use. Uh, I thought about it, but I was like, no, "But this oh. one's also good." Yeah. I was like, "Oh, it's gonna be sad," but then everybody <laughs> else just came uh, with. All I mean, you're, no dog's gonna die at the end, so it's his, a perfect one. His, yeah. do- his dog died. Uh, I mean, yours was sweet. It was the you know the rock and roll Santa grandpa, and then. Well, my dog didn't die at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> his dog died the like, next he day. He picked yeah. it up out of the box. <laughs> yeah. It was already he dead. Loved it. It, it was, was his already best dead. friend from Christmas Eve to Christmas Day. Yeah, she lived a happy like thirteen years. What was her name? Lady. 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 You couldn't come up with a Rest more creative lady. name. He was how old? Listen, <laughs> man. Like I was five. Lady, like Lady in the Tramp. Yes. So we're talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Oh, now I get to know. Oh, 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 I felt oh, bad oh, for laughing. So let me oh, yeah. let me say ah. Oh. Okay. So we're talking about when he came to visit me from. No, the one with the where he got you the wrong video game. He's working really hard. Oh, okay. No, okay. So, Link says it's the wrong video game, but it's actually way worse than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's worse than okay. that. Okay. Yeah. So, 
Um, after Hurricane Andrew here in Miami, there was devastation. My parents' business like went under. So my dad had to go back to New York for where we're originally from. And he started driving taxis and, you know, working to basically put food on the table so we could, you know, keep living, keep our house basically while all the, you know, money comes in to help from the disaster relief and all that other stuff. So I didn't spend that year with my dad. So he, I had this like list of like games that I wanted. I, and I can't even remember what game it was that I wanted. I'm pretty sure it was between Super Metroid and like Legend of Zelda. Um, what is it? What's the Super Nintendo one? Link. A Link to the Past? To the Past, yeah. Link to the Past or Super Metroid. But I wanted a new game because that's it. I had played Mario World like <laughs> all year, right? And um, and he came back and I saw the box under the tree and it was perfectly formed. It was wrapped. It was totally in the shape of a video game. He knew the dimensions. Yeah, I was super excited. I was like, I knew it because it's all I asked for. It's the only thing I wanted was a game. Come, you know, midnight, time to open the presents. Um, and I'm excited. They hand me the box. I rip open the paper, and inside is a limited edition Super Nintendo Entertainment System cartridge cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> and it, <laughs> no. And it was like a blank cartridge, the same shape as a video game, as the cartridge for the game. But it had like a strip of no. like at like cotton adhesive tape. So you jam it into the system and then you press the eject button and then you put it down again and you hold it. And then you press the eject button in order to clean the head where the games go. And I remember being so sad that Christmas. Just like after all of this, all this waiting. I've never cleaned the system so many times <laughs> in my entire life because that's what I had. But then I go back as an adult and I look back at that time about my dad, you know, working long hours, you know, halfway across the country and scrounging up just a couple of dollars to be able to get me something remotely in the realm of what I wanted. And, you know, it makes me really appreciate the sacrifices. Sometimes we don't get what we want, but just the idea that there's someone out there fighting for us. Also, just to connect the dots, your dad is was rock and roll Santa for me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because. And isn't yeah. that the lesson that little Neil Patrick Harris learned in Eight Bit Christmas? Oh my goodness, that is so true. Wow. Okay, so um, that's not a spoiler. But go ahead and watch the movie if you if you if you, if you can because that's true. Is My it? Christmas is the same. I am Neil Patrick Harris. You are. I mean, you were describing the story. You're Doogie Howser. Like, you were describing the story. And I'm like, it sounds like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out if you want. It's a, it's a nice little film if you have. To. It's nice and clean, family friendly, non controversial, apolitical. Go ahead. No nipple. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This nipple thing is. <laughs> okay. So with that, we have. A couple of Christmas traditions. Everybody, every family kind of celebrates Christmas a different way. Maybe you guys listen to different music, eat different kinds of food. Um, sometimes some you open presents in a different way. S some families buy everyone everything. Some people do uh, um, Secret Santa, White Elephant, whatever it is. What are some of your Christmas traditions? What does Christmas look like in, in your home? For me, uh, typical Hispanic, you know, uh, open presents at midnight. Yeah, I don't think that's universal, though, for Hispanics. You keep saying that. But... Oh, I don't know. That's what... See, I thought that, too. I thought yeah. that. Yeah, I thought that. I thought that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not... what we all do here. Not sure about our No, producer. yeah, I, I okay. do that, too. But one of the things that I love most about Christmas is is that my dad, for some reason, and only during Christmas, makes this potato salad. Mm -hmm. And I remember when he first made it, the first time he made it during Christmas, I'm like, not this past Christmas, recently, like a few years back, mm -hmm. I was like, I hate potato salad. Why would you make this disgusting <laughs> dish? Why? He always gives me a uh, fruit. What are those things called? Those, oh, that fruit those bread? breads with ah, the fruit. That's also disgusting. Is it Christmas fruit cake? Isn't it? Yeah, fruit cake. Fruit cake. Yeah, 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 fruit cake. Yeah, but it's 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 not fruit cake. No, that is that's what they are. Cause they're called fruit cake, but they're gross. Yeah, I don't like the that. ones that come in little boxes that you buy off the shelf. Mm -hmm. like. But you know what? He buys that because that's what they, he had for Christmas. Mm -hmm. so it's, it yeah, my dad yeah. too. Yeah, I'm sick of it. Yeah, like, I'm sick of it. Yeah. Like, 
But anyway, so then what he made this potato salad. I'm like, why do you make this? This is in my mind. I'm like I'm thinking this, and he goes, try it, just try it. I'm like, my dad's a good cook. So let me try it. And I, you know, took a bite of it, and it was the most amazing potato salad I've ever had in my life because it has like cheese, it had cheese and apple, mm-hmm. which are ingredients that I've never had in a potato salad. Right. So I, think I, I remember this. Potato so salad. I look up to this. Like this is what I wait for. And it sucks because of the pandemic. I didn't get to spend Christmas with him last mm-hmm. year, but that's what he made for Christmas. Remember? Yeah. And I didn't get the. I missed out on that. I guess I'm so spoiled. I don't remember. Yeah. The I remember. Parents problems. Yeah. I remember. I, I had it, and it was delicious. Right. Like oh, now really that, because now that you said it, I was like, it triggered a memory. I was like, wait, I did have that. And nobody's mm-hmm. talking about. It was great. It was man. great. I didn't get to have it. You don't have a. Like amazing potato salad. Really I know, man. I feel so left out on this. <laughs> I was like, wow, that potato salad was so good. <laughs> we'll yeah, save yeah. some for you. Yeah, we'll we'll save some. We're going to yeah. get you some potato salad this I'm year. More, yeah, more yeah. than happy to try that. All right, stay around town and we'll get you some potato salad. One lucky viewer, we will send you <laughs> I don't think a cup of potato yeah, salad. Advisor. What are they viewing? One yeah, lucky yeah. listener. <laughs> I don't think this is the first time he refers to them as viewers. <laughs> you think yeah. of TV. Yeah. <laughs> I, we're not on TV. Yeah, absolutely not. But we might be on HBO we now might. that we keep pushing April not, Christmas. Not with Link's rules. I don't want to oh, be yeah, on HBO. Right. Yeah. What about you, Dan? Uh, <laughs> producer. <laughs> what about you, producer? Um, For me, it's... My family, we always try different things. We always change it up. We mm-hmm. try to never do two Christmas the same way. Uh-huh. Really? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Usually, it'll be like themed... Like getting dressed in like a themed way. Mm-hmm. Like Ooh. some years it'll be like do pajamas. Have, do you have like silly like pictures of that? We gotta, Actually, we got to do the green plaid pajama. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yes. I, yeah, we we took a few pictures, but I don't have them on me. But yeah, we try to like switch it up, and then sometimes it'll be like onesies, pajamas, uh, snowmen, and 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 Santas, mm. and like that's our way of spicing it oh that's cool variety christmas yeah, yeah. Mm. so like for like the snowman and, and santa it would be like two teams and then we would start playing games oh okay all right i think my mom has tried in the past couple of years to be like let's do themes like hawaiian christmas and the family just like over oh, right. no we're not gonna go to that and she's like all right fine just regular because like she had christmas the same way for like 30 years and then now all of a sudden she's like bored and she's like oh i, I saw stuff on the internet and I was like, no that's not we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do it the way that we did it um i just food's a big part of mine like mm. it's just cooking all day and it's a, there's like no rules it's like there's arepas there's uh there's turkey there's a uh, roast beef roast beef mm. yeah there's your dad's roast beef yeah there's just it's it's a smorgasbord of and the food will last you'll be eating this food for the next week right Bro, i have to come to one of these yeah, man. like I, you're yeah. invited everyone's yeah. talking about Very the food and i'm it's like basically like geez. a battle royale of food yeah pretty much yeah and it's like it's like an arms race of food um and i was looking up actually because i was thinking is that the way that like does everybody open in midnight so apparently like in a lot of hispanic homes but especially with like so chill like roman catholic influence mm-hmm. it's like like the baby Jesus comes and drops off the gifts at midnight. So some families like that's too late for the kids to be up. So yeah. he comes at midnight, but they don't open the presents till the next day. But I guess we just stayed up till the no, middle. That was the day for me. Yeah, it's the only time yeah. I got yeah. yes. Yeah. Late. You said that baby Jesus drops off. The <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. I, I I was told baby Jesus. Yeah. Baby. And then at some point <laughs> yeah. he trans he evolved into Santa. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why I'm th- like as baby Jesus. I'm thinking like. Paul Rudd and Ant Man when he's yeah. like small and he's like walking around in the giant hoodie, <laughs> just dropping off gifts. That's dressed. what I want. That's yeah. what I want. That, that's what you want. <laughs> Paul Rudd. You yeah. want a you little want... baby Paul Rudd dropping yeah. off yeah. gifts? Yeah, that's kind of scary, man. <laughs> yeah. For everyone, not just me. For everyone. Okay, what about you, Gabe? Traditions. I think um, traditions. I mean, you covered food, and I feel like <laughs> a lot of the times our Christmas are spent together. Yeah. Um. But I think one of the main things is is movies. Yeah, movies. Movies are a big, big one for the family. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember there were there were some years where we would since we would open presents mm-hmm. um, on Christmas Eve at night, um, Christmas Day the twenty fifth we would go we'd go to the movie theaters and movie up, and we just catch everything that's in the theaters, and 
if we weren't in theaters, we would watch it together at home or, or something was going on. And, you know, a lot of people have that, um, this tradition of opening gifts, mm -hmm. um, Christmas morning. And I feel like growing up, it was different for me since we would open gifts at night. Yeah. Um, but by the same token, I think that Christmas mornings were still something very special. The day of Christmas, mm -hmm. it was different. It wasn't like I was opening gifts. It was either me getting up really early to play a video game that I got for Christmas right. or try out whatever gift I got. Mm -hmm. Even if it was just socks. Yeah, man. You were wearing your socks with your toy in hand, waiting for the toys. game. Yeah, yeah. Toy, yeah, toys were a big one too. Oh yeah. Um, but I think I don't know because I'm I always wake up really early for some reason. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'd kind of be up before everybody else. Um, but then when once the family got up, we're reheating the the leftovers, and everyone just kind of has that. Um, it's different because we're not, obviously, like I said, we're not opening gifts on Christmas right. morning, but we are spending the time together. And everyone's trying out their new gifts or we're planning what we're going to do for the day. Um, I remember sometimes we would do other activities and or go out to eat somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but I think watching watching things as a family, watching films as a family yeah. was definitely a, a huge part, um, a huge tradition growing up. Yeah. Um, I remember watching Star Wars like every Christmas. Mm -hmm. Usually I would get Star Wars for Christmas some form like, some way so, yeah some, some like, way it would be like the the vhs oh now the thx remastered now the special edition now the vcd now the laser disc now the dvd now episode one <laughs> is on vhs now episode one so i was like getting a star wars movie somehow and no matter even if it wasn't a star wars year it would be like open up all your presents grab your favorite toys go up in front of the tv we're gonna watch star wars while you play with your favorite so star wars like was a big holiday part Okay, so we shared some of our traditions. I hope some of you can relate or get some new traditions uh, wherever you and your families are. But I thought it was an interesting note that uh, our producer mentioned games, right? Playing games with your family. And I, I brought a holiday game here for us to try. Now, we didn't practice this. Ooh. We didn't. Uh, uh, this is kind of a little bit of a surprise here. So this might be a little messy. Uh, we got a couple of different games here. Uh Let's see. The first one's uh, movie trivia. So let's see. Let's I see. think this one. This one, movie trivia? Yeah. Okay. So Christmas movie trivia. So who wants to be the host for this one? I guess. I'll okay, okay. Gabriel's going to be the host for this one. So he's got... Gabe's got the cards. Basically, the rules are we're going to take turns reading out the question on each card. I'm guessing that's Gabe's uh, role here. And then the other players or teams have to guess the answer. So you're going to read the question, and then we guess what the answer to the question is. So as he's going through the cards here, this might be... I, I got this... Um, I was shopping for cheap gifts at uh, Marshall's, and I was like, oh, look, this game is here. This so, is pretty updated. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, they got some good stuff, guys. So pro tip, Marshall's, Ross, you know, Home Goods. Check it out. Find some cheap stuff. Give, give some random people in your lives. So I'm asking gifts. the question and first person answer? Yeah, I think so. Yes, we can just answer out loud. Let's see how messy that gets. and then. Yeah, that's going to be a mess, but <laughs> we can we'll, we'll roll with it. Okay. Okay. All right. First question goes. Name the PG-13 version of Deadpool 2 that was released in December 2018. Oh, Once Upon a Deadpool. New scenes. I don't with know. Fred Savage. Do we have a rule? Do we have to wait for the question to be over? Or? Well, I mean, I didn't even know the answer to this. So, did you know what it was gonna be? I mean, I, no, not really. Not the <laughs> name of it. So you're All good. Right, you get the All point. Right. But I think from Should now on, wait, wait, wait yeah. for the. Uh, okay, okay. So how many of these we doing? So just in case you missed that question, um, it's Ben Savage is the narrator. I recommend that. I don't know where to get that. I think you have to buy it. Fred. Fred Savage. It's Fred Savage. Oh yeah, the one from Prison Break. That it's makes sense. Savage. So Fred Savage, um, like, is kidnapped right by Deadpool, and mm -hmm. then he retells the story. I actually prefer this version. Is that is that weird? I've never watched this. Oh, I prefer this version. It's like a PG thirteen edit of Deadpool. Um, so they just like digitize some stuff and like, but it was basically they go through the movie like a story, and it's like it plays up on Prince of Bride. It's pretty good. I like that. I think I did see this. Yeah, I went to the theater. 
to watch it, and my wife was not amused that we were watching Deadpool two again. Was this a Christmas time movie? Yeah, it was a Christmas okay. time movie. Yeah. Did you watch it? Like, I heard that this was kind of like an idea, to, like to pitch to Disney, like you can do Deadpool PG thirteen. It'll still be edgy, and you know, mm-hmm. but it's it's basically the same movie. You know, it's just like some like smart edits or whatever. Yeah. All right. Second question. So we're waiting until that's the question yes. is asked. Okay. Yes. Because this is an audio podcast, so I realized that me jumping the gun was a terrible idea. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Name the Twilight actor who appears in the 2020 movie Happiest Season. Edward Patterson. Robert Patterson. That's not a person. <laughs> you uh, assume because he's in uh, every movie. Taylor Lautner. Christian Bell. What's the answer? I, I assume this is a total guess from all of us, right? We have no uh, idea. Yeah, I've never yeah. even seen this movie. Um, Danny had the first name, right? She said, is "Oh, that she not, said, is that not, is oh, yeah, that she, Kristen Stewart." Yeah, yeah. she yeah. said, Whatever, "Ding, ding, ding!" Kristen Ghost Bell. Bell. No, yes. how dare you? No, Whatever. Kristen Bell is a national treasure, and Kristen Stewart, not so much. Spencer, bro, Spencer. Oh, I've heard some good Oops. things, but oh, it's it's like at home already, Spencer. So that's a Christmas movie. If you want to see Lady Diana's uh, tragic life, <laughs> Spencer. She plays Lady Diana. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. I was <laughs> honoring Lady De- oh, Diana, oh. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> What? You give that... I mean, I heard great things about her acting in it, so... Yeah, exactly. We so. give it a shot. We give it we a shot. We give you a shot. All right, we got one for Link, one for George. Zero and... for producer. All right, producer. I was going to say that. You had it. Though. Producer, you yeah, had it. Yeah, I had it. All right. They mixed it into <laughs> one in my mind. I was like, oh. That's... Which 2016 neo-noir black comedy starring Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling takes place in the run-up to Christmas? The Gangster, good guys. American Gangster. What? <laughs> the good guys. No, no, the nice guys. The nice guys. Nice guys make the sense, yeah. I've should, seen should, this movie. Should we have like some like you have an answer and then I go with each of we you? We could do that. To we give could everyone do that. An equal okay, chance. so start in a certain Yeah, like whoever answers first, I'll go and then Okay. But it's definitely not whatever answer. he said, right? No, it's not. No, it, no, it, it is. It, it was your second answer. Yeah, what did he say though? American, he said American, American gangster. gangster. He said American gangster. <laughs> a, I don't know a why. Black comedy. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's a hilarious movie. Okay. In which Marvel movie does Robert Downey Jr. suit up to a remix version of the song Jingle Bells? Iron. Man. Oh, Iron Man. oh, are you gonna call a specific one. person? I think we all know this one. though. Yeah, we all know, right? Know Iron, Man 3. Iron Man Three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Iron Man Three. You, you knew that, really? Yeah, because that's the only one that takes it place at Christmas. Place during Christmas. Remember, we talked about it in the Marvel episode. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'll so, give it to the producer. Okay, I'll take that free pity point. <laughs> right, we're, I we're take what even. I can get. Yeah, I, I'm not proud. Hopefully, not in all aspects of your life, but I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> All right. In two thousand in two thousand and four's Surviving Christmas, what does Ben Affleck's wealthy bachelor hire so he can have the perfect seasonal celebration? Pass. A, a maid. A gym. Mm-mm. A maid. Mm-mm. A butler. Mm-mm. Oh, what? I didn't even. I stopped listening yeah. halfway through the question. Yeah, I didn't want to. Once you hear Ben Affleck, it's like, nah. Never mind. <laughs> oh, you said Ben Affleck. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why I thought Ben Stiller. That's why I said said a gym because of uh, you're yeah, like. Has, has anyone seen this movie? No. no. Surviving Christmas. It right. has Ben Affleck in it pre Batman. So mm. now, now I watch all the Affleck movies to judge him. It was a family. He hired a family. <laughs> this movie sounds, this sounds sad. Yeah. <laughs> did you know that in it's Japan, a dark comedy? <laughs> did you know that in Japan yeah. they do that? You can rent a family. You can rent a lot of things in Japan that you probably shouldn't be able to. Very true. I wouldn't mind renting a family, you know, taking cute Christmas you pictures. Ha- to take pictures like Danny does with his family? I wouldn't mind. You, ha- you have that? a family. Our producer? <laughs> I'll bleep that later. Yeah. You have a family. I already know. But I want to be the dad. I want to be the provider. This is too, <laughs> this is too weird. This is, <laughs> what, this is you getting want really pet? weird. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get you a dog, Link. Okay. No, I do not want a pet. I, I don't want to suffer anymore. Yeah, because they'll die immediately. <laughs> yeah, within three days, apparently, yeah. I'll call, I'll call him gentleman. All right, next question. All right. Which Batman actor starred in the 2000 movie Reindeer Games? Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> Is it actually? <laughs> yeah, I love Reindeer Games. The he got movies. back-to-back questions. All right. He was, oh, that's a, what is it? 
I think that's like a Jane Silent Bob joke. I was like, he was great in reindeer games. He was the bomb in Phantoms. <laughs> These movies are great. All right. Last question for yeah. this category? Yeah. yeah. For this, for All right. This. Which 1992 Christmas movie features a famous cameo from Donald Trump? Uh, Home Alone uh, 2. Um, Home Alone hey, 2. Hey, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Yeah. Oh, we have to say the whole full yeah. thing. I thought yeah. we, I keep thinking we're going to go yeah, take turns. Yeah, because we established that. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm waiting and, and people then, are jumping in. And then Link gets and, the question. Yeah. Cause we should have like a I think you could give it to Link. He, yeah, that's, yeah, that's too. fine. Yeah. I think we all knew that one though. Yeah. So that's how many? Maybe it's whoever says it first, but not yelling it. So our whoever listeners, not viewers. Oh, okay. so excited. Our yes. listeners, not our viewers. Home Alone 2. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Lost in New York. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll do we'll do the last one since since you I think you guys I think we're tied, tied right yeah yeah points not for, it'll, not it'll count producer. it'll count double for you then points so. for Raven for nice you, for you producer I right. gotta do a lot of censoring <laughs> on this one I don't know if we're gonna keep to that promise the joke is I'm not gonna censor it <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not I don't okay. like the joke that's I like it all right which Monty Python film starts with the three wise oh, men yeah, going to the wrong stable I don't know this. Are we calling on someone? I refer, or, oh, no, we decided no. The Life of Brian? Yes. Okay. Ding, Congrats. Ding, ding. It's not fair. <laughs> what was not fair about? I feel like you've mentioned the movie before, I'm, no? I'm not old enough to get that reference. <laughs> Isn't your favorite movie like The Godfather? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's American Gangster. <laughs> okay, so the next game is Describe It. And the game is take turns to describe a film without saying the three forbidden words for the other players or team to guess the answer. So I guess the person leading the game has to be able to describe. I'm definitely... Or we take turns with the cards. We could do that too. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. So that's, oh, you have it. Is he, re- is he just reading them ahead of time? Okay, <laughs> Link just hard. picked up, Link just picked up the start. stack. And so he's he just am I going so first? Am I going first? Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah. So he has to describe it to us and he, he can't, can't say any of the words. I don't even know what cards. movie this is. Or oh, maybe this should be a judge to make oh, sure he looking, doesn't no, say the three words. Okay, I can do this one. I'm sorry, guys. This one is the great one. Okay. You just make sure you don't say the three words because it's like a honor system here. Nobody's looking at you. I trust you. This is like, what's that called? Tab- taboo? Like taboo? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. trust you. Okay. Go ahead. A vigilante comes Daredevil. back. Batman. But the second Comes one. back. Batman Returns. Mm. There you go. Oh, that's I good. saw him playing with the cards. I saw, I saw what he was holding. For I'm a not, second. I'm, I'm going to be real. Okay. That's I'm, cheating. I'm also going to be real. You I were for... shuffling the cards right in front of my face. I thought you had glasses. Don't you need glasses? Yeah. But... I thought you were nearsighted. I, I, I don't need them that bad. <laughs> He's not like, legally blind. Yeah. Okay. Also, I forgot that the game was Christmas based. <laughs> yeah, I forgot that too. Uh, oh, first... this is a Christmas game. <laughs> yeah. Because this is the holiday special, so. Um, I, I, my guess was Daredevil for no reason. Like <laughs> it doesn't fit because Ben Affleck. <laughs> I'm sensing a theme here. Affleck on the this is actually the Ben Affleck game. Okay, I'm not gonna lie for that second Ben Affleck question. I actually found it and I just wanted to put that in there. Just the fact that it exists in the deck yeah. is yeah. Okay, ready? Ready. Okay. The way you receive messages electronically. Can I go? Sure. No. Is it you got mail? Yeah, you go. <laughs> All right. And points for Hufflepuff. Thank you. Now, question. I don't know some of these movies. <laughs> I, did you know that one? Yeah. I oh, mean, okay. Yeah. Can, do even even if I don't get it, do I just try to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Honestly, okay. honestly, he's better. saying stuff, and I forget the point, the objective of the game. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know you got mail take place. I, I mean, I've seen it a couple of times actually, but uh, I don't think this is a Christmas game anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? Let's go, back, let's go back to the Ben Affleck. That's Meg Ryan and Ben Affleck, right? Yeah, you, you got mail. not Ben Affleck. <laughs> that he joke just, went over he, my yeah, head. Yeah, he just <laughs> genuinely answered. No, it's Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway there, we like, okay. This is a good one. I'm sorry, guys. I don't really watch Christmas movies. He's gone through the whole deck. Literally. <laughs> That's the whole deck. <laughs> you you don't even know the movies? <laughs> okay. I think there's also different movies on the backside. They are. Yeah, but I got movie. this. Ready? But now Danny knows all the Yeah, I know so. the entire backside. <laughs> okay. So, George has one. Producer yeah. has Nothing. One. I think George has two. No, I have one. No, I didn't. Producer has one. 
Oh. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess if we oh, count, no, no. Batman Bruce Returns won. Yeah, Batman Returns. I cheated. Okay. I cheated for this. Which was, you ready for this? Kind of, it was kind of Batman related, actually. We'll, we'll I mean, Affleck, Affleck, related. Affleck related. Affleck I was related. just thinking yeah. that. I forgive you. A group of caca. Alright, I'm gonna ready. Ready? <laughs> what? A group of caca. A group of Caucasian male and one African American oh, go around New York absorbing monsters. American gangster. Oh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> um, Ghostbusters 2? 2 lost in New York. There you go, Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> He said Lost in New York, <laughs> by the way. Is that not the subtitle to every two movie? Yeah, no. I guess. Okay. Or Let There Be Carnage. So George, <laughs> two, producer, one, Gabe, zero. I'm going to try to help you out here, Christmas Gabe. miracle. I'm going to try to help you out here. I don't even know how to describe this. Okay. <laughs> the consternation on A your A family face. goes inside <laughs> a closet. Narnia? Oh. Chronicles of Narnia, the, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. There you I'm, go. Uh, uh, Gabe got one. Points for Gryffindor. Bro, you Christmas lost me. Miracle. Yeah, was it? <laughs> a family like goes inside. My favorite was I started answering. It was like, <laughs> Prince Caspian. It was Arnold was guessing. I've never seen this movie. <laughs> the Chronicles of Narnia. It's a popular one. Okay, you ready? I'm just going to say the opposite of the title. You guys. Okay. <laughs> Just the polar a terrible death a beautiful uh, life a wonderful, uh, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful life. life there Why? you go point for Gryffindor with Gabe Thank why do I do this a beautiful producer. life that like Italian movie <laughs> <laughs> about the holocaust <laughs> what is it la vita bella yeah. uh, la dolce vita la dolce vita la dolce vita do, do, oh no that's do, life is beautiful by the way that's not even a beautiful life beautiful <laughs> life is beautiful <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, I like this movie. What a great Christmas movie. Hey, like kids. It. Have you heard the story of the Holocaust? All right, you guys ready? <laughs> no. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at me. I don't know why he looked at George like he was like about to pitch to him, like he's playing baseball or something. Ready, he just like ready? puts the glove up. Okay. The signals in the air. This movie is about... Someone going up north. The Polar Express. There you go. Oh, wow. wow. Gryffindor, three in a row. Wow, don't call it a comeback. Don't call it. If he's nah, Gryffindor it was, and you're, he's Hufflepuff. He's Gryffindor. You're, he's Hufflepuff. I you're like Slytherin. To be, I like to be I'm Slytherin. Ravenclaw because no. that's, what that's what Mike says said. I'm, but mine says Slytherin. I'm always Slytherin. Mine is Hufflepuff. Yeah, you, okay, you don't know us at all. Man. Yeah, you don't know us at all, yeah, man. Yeah, you don't know us at all, man. I stopped at. And I could see I him stopped being at, Gryffindor. I stopped at Ben Affleck. I stopped at the one... Yeah, Gary Oldman died in. Okay. Okay. Well, is that a real for real? You haven't seen them all? No, once they killed Gary Oldman, Serious Black, I'm like, I don't want to watch this. I mean, I I felt the same way, but I got over it eventually. That was like nope. fifteen years ago. <laughs> nope, I have not gotten over it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie for that last one. The answer before it was the line the witch in the wardrobe. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh no, it's a wonderful life. I was just shooting uh Yeah. What I was mean, it Polar Express. You know what it you know what it's a wonderful life is though, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the one in the Batman the Anime. Yeah, exactly. Series. That's the only reason why I know that movie. Are <laughs> uh, you ready? This movie is about a Nicholas is in it, and he is he 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 lives in a house when there's a fam. Ah, oh, darn it! I didn't even set the name. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what was the name what of the was movie? That one? The Family Man. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't we would have never got that. Yeah. yeah. Well, was it Nicholas Nick- Cage? Nicholas Cage. Oh, I do remember. That movie. Yeah, I do remember. I, really like I think movie. I saw that movie because your dad, just your dad's DVDs or something. Yes, yeah, from Walmart. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know how to describe this. All right, ready? Well, you just described Nicholas Cage's entire career. Continue. A mon- monsters, little monsters, gremlins. gremlins. There you go. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Producer, producer. 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 All right, here okay. you go, Hufflepuff. I'll take the pity points. I just watched that movie. No, I'm giving those points because it, if it wasn't for you, I would well, have gotten. We're not going to talk point. about it. Did this not so hold up. Like I thought. I still okay. love it. Okay, that movie's amazing. Okay. You guys ready for this one? Yes. Okay. Are you? There is a <laughs> a green the monster. Grinch. He is trying to. How the Grinch stole Christmas. There you go. Ah. That's a that's the animated one. Okay, you ready? 
How many do you have, George? Three. Three. Gabe? Three. Three. Producer? Two. Two. So this is the tiebreaker? Tiebreaker. Awesome. Okay. This man makes art with his hands. Edward Scissorhands? Yeah! You know what? I had to put that one in this Christmas rotation. I got to watch that one again. Do you want to continue or do you want a new category? Continue. Or... Oh, we'll switch it. Yeah, switch to a new category? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cards in the table. So George won this one? Yeah. And did you win the last one too? I, I think so. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Mm-hmm. I was going to, for the sake of the show, I was just going to let everyone get the last one. Okay. But... Here you go. That was nah, nah, couldn't nah. let yourself nah. do it. That was nah, I don't take. I don't take pity. Stay true to yourself. Does anyone want to do it? I take pity wins. Yeah. Is, okay, the next game is name that movie. Producer is gonna uh, judge or lead the game. It says take turns to say the quote for the other players or team to guess what film it's from. Oh, this so, is hard. Right. This is really hard. Because right. I don't remember quotes, unless Let's it's the blind this. lawyer from Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> That's, funny. That's the first card. Ben Affleck. You know what? This this is gonna spark a rant, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna read this one out. But did you know Planes, Trains, and Automobiles is actually a Thanksgiving movie? Really? Yes. Okay, so Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween movie or Christmas movie? An e- it's a Christmas. Why not both? Oh, yeah, why not it's both? It's an emo yeah. movie. Okay. <laughs> but this place it's takes place goth. during Thanksgiving. Oh, you know what? I think it's a holiday game though. Ah, yeah. so have... you can go from Thanksgiving all the way oh, to, to ah. New Year's. Also, no, 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 right. no MLK. And no, it just yeah, it goes from <laughs> holiday. It goes from Thanksgiving all the way to Labor Day. <laughs> it's What's a, the cutoff period? Yeah, there's no November, there's no October games. Take your time, yeah, producer. I'm, I'm yeah. just a <laughs> that one's hard. <laughs> don't worry, I'm the one who has to edit this Dead Space <laughs> out anyway. Don't worry. <laughs> Oh, actually, no, this game's better. Yeah, I'm doing this one last. Oh, okay. All right, well. We were going to play Make a Scene, but that would involve me drawing and everyone at home just yeah. listening no, to No, 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 no. No, no, we, we have act- viewers, bro. We, we have viewers. Oh, we we act it out, and our listeners have to, they have they have to, to guess, guess what movie like, I'm we're drawing acting. it. Which one is it? All right. Woman, do your job and swaddle this baby. Jesus did not say that. <laughs> <laughs> did you just, what? Activities? Did you guess Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Um... Right, this is a shot in the dark, and I'm pretty sure it's not the right answer. No, I don't know. I was going to say jingle all the way for no reason. But... No. Yay! Woman! Is it from the 80s? <laughs> 90s? Woman swaddled his baby! baby. And today? Woman. No? Any guess? No idea. No, I guess that's a pass. For everybody. That's a pass? Yeah. What is it? Four Christmases? Oh, yeah, I don't know. That's like... Um, what? Vince Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. It's, not a, it's not a movie I watch. Yeah, I did watch it once. We watched it in a movie like, Oh, I need a Christmas it movie it about out. divorces. Yeah, we that's what... We watched it when it came out. Yeah, that that yeah. is kind of sad. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. That's all you watch. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, regular life is bad enough, okay? All right. Not in the restricted section. Happy Christmas. Is, was that the quote? Are you saying... That, it, was, that was the quote. Not, not in, in the restricted, restricted section. section. Happy Christmas. Die Hard. No. Mm-hmm. Yippee Kaye, Mr. Falcon. Mr. Falcon. No, I got uh, Home guy. Alone. Nope. The oh. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Nope. Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. The guy yeah. Redux. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Okay, we give up. It is uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, this is. You saw that one. Yeah, I mean. Also, the these, these are tough. That's why I looked through yeah. them. I'm also, like, the quotes are hard, man. Yeah. yeah. Also, the Philosopher's Stone is the English title, right? We call it the Sorcerer's Stone here in the US. Oh, true. That's right. Yeah. So we... Does it say that on the card? Yeah, it says fall off it. Yeah, it you says bought, all of that. It you... says we call it the Sorcerer's yeah, Stone. Yeah, it says that entire US. sentence. Yeah, I read the card. You bought British game. Oh, okay. <clears throat> now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Die hard. Aww. He didn't say Mr. Die hard. Okay. Well, One of the best supposed Christmas to be Mr. Movies. It's supposed to be yippee ki Mr. Falcon. Yeah, no. No. Watch Die Hard, guys. If you haven't watched Die Hard for Christmas, it's illuminating. This is a this is gonna be a really easy one. Snoopy, you'll have to be a, a Charlie Brown Christmas. Yeah, I mean, man, give it to him, man. <laughs> yes. I mean, that's a pretty easy. Points one. for Raven Car. I just watched it, uh, and a, a friend recently poo pooed it. Like, oh, it was a, it's amazing. I've Charlie never Brown watched Christmas. this movie. So it's a twenty five minute investment, guys. If you have not seen a Charlie Brown Christmas, watch it this holiday with your family. The only thing Charlie Brown related. It's on Apple. I've, TV. I've watched is 
Arrested Development when they're sad and they put the sad music. <laughs> I don't think that qualifies. All right. <clears throat> Merry Christmas, Alfred. Goodwill towards Batman Mary. the Animated Series. No. <laughs> Batman Returns. Yes. Ah, yeah. oh, damn. I'm back in the game, baby. Is this movie trivia? Yeah. No, this is quotes. No, it's named that movie. The name of this game is named that movie. What else is the quote going to be from? Okay. Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I was like, oh, Batman. He said Batman, I'm like, and then he said animated series, and I'm like, oh, that's... Because I thought yeah. of the Batman episode where he sees a wonderful life, okay. and he saves the world. Oh, no, where he watches Life he is watch- Beautiful. Oh, it's Life is Beautiful, and he watches, and he saves the world, you know, Gotham from the Joker. Gotham from the Joker. <clears throat> what All a right. classic, man. Maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store. Home Alone. Clerks. No. <laughs> You're just going to guess Home Alone for everyone. Home Alone 2. No. The Polar How Express. How the Grinch Stole no. Christmas. Jingle yeah. All the Way. Yes. What? He was surprised. <laughs> he what was yours? <laughs> he Batman guessed. Returns. No, what was your Grinch? Oh, was that a different no, game? It was a different game. Yeah, that I was about to say. It was, mine was, um. oh, same thing. Same huh? thing, right? Yes. Ravenclaw has two. It's Carol Singers. Love Actually. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Batman the Animated I, Series. I'm almost certain there's like multiple Christmas movies where someone says it's yeah, Carol, it's Carol Singers. Singers. I was like, no one's gonna get this one. Now the blueprint is Love Actually. Okay. Mostly I just because I love Love Actually. Just Gabe, of, Gabe and I are tied. No, love. most of, mostly because of that uh, Ted Lasso episode yeah. where they redid it. Yeah, that's right. I love Love Actually. I, Don't watch that with your families though. Just only the adults watch that movie. For I Christmas. love that movie. How many do you have? I have one. one. Gabe and I and have you? two. And uh-huh. you? Oh, one. Right. Two. Okay. Well, oh, only one? I like this one. I have two. <clears throat> oh, two. Okay. It's turbo time. That's oh, uh, jingle all the way. There you go. Oh, oh so tiebreaker. I've been right. sitting on jingle Sorry, all the way yeah. the whole time. Tiebreaker then. The next one wins it all. Yep. All right. Ty Conti breaker. <clears throat> no matter how much he cries, no matter how much he begs, never feed him after. Oh, gremlins. Night. He wins on Gremlins. He wins on Gremlins. I had to end it on Gremlins. Gremlins. I've never watched that movie. Watch it. (laughs) No, we have to watch it. Yeah, we should watch it. After you guys pooped all over it? No, no, no. No, no, but you've never seen it before. We're not saying it's bad. We're saying it's not the movie I remember as a child. Because the one thing that I always hear, too, is I love Gremlins, too. And I think it's like one of the funniest movies ever. But I'm always hearing, like, oh, Gremlins 2 took it, like... Is a joke direction. It was always a joke. Gremlins one is so yeah. serious, and I'm watching Gremlins one, and that movie goes so far off the rails. And I'm like, who are these people? They've yeah, been lying 100%. to me. I just don't like Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> the next one's. I just don't like Christmas. Yeah, yeah that's, that's honestly what I was. <laughs> All right, All right. this right. game sounds like fun. Oh, well, we're not playing this game though. The shout out one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's me. One. That's right. Yeah, that's oh, no. oh, we still have one game. I was fun. about to say, man, you just got rid of the first best one, <laughs> bro. That one's so okay, cool. I got it. That's true. I forgot that I haven't hosted a game. Okay, don't so, do the first one because I've seen it. Okay, a final, final one. He's not gonna win. A final yes. game. All right. The game is shout out, and the rules are: you take turns to read out the card. That's me. The first player or team to shout out a correct answer wins, and this is the one game that's guaranteed that I won't win it. So. Ready? A Christmas movie from the 2010s. You can shout out any. Jingle all the way. No. Nope. The Chris. Mm, a Chris Santa Nights. Claus Chronicles. Red Christmas Claus. Chronicles. Uh, Red Claus. Christmas Chronicles. The, Chronic- the Christmas Chronicles. Uh, Chronicles of Narnia. That sounds right, Gabriel. Santa Claus of Christmas Chronicles. That's Wait, a movie. You just said that not a movie. The Chronicles. No, the, no, Christmas Chronicles. Okay, okay. That's a movie. I believe you. I don't know. With Kurt Russell. Okay. What movie? What you? Oh yeah, come like out? on Netflix, like on Netflix, yeah. right? Recently. Recently, like 20? Oh, that's not the 2010s. 20 yeah, that's the 20s. What year is it? There's have sequels, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's fact check it. I, yeah, I okay. All right, really quick. Okay, this is this one's up to up for debate. In the meantime... Yes, well, Gabriel's just... <laughs> 2018. Oh, oh yeah, uh, you that's go. yours. That's yours. You got it. Okay. Oh, points for Gryffindor. All right. A Christmas movie about dancing. Dirty Dancing. Like Christmas. Christmas. Like Christmas. Christmas. Christmas naming a movie about Footloose. this. Also not That's... in Christmas. That I can't. Right. Oh, oh, oh. B- uh, d- d- Dark Knight. I mean, Batman. Batman. Batman Returns. Batman Returns. How? Uh, there's dancing with the joke uh, with the penguin. The joke's dead. With the, the penguin. The penguin. The penguin. He's the dancing. movie is about dancing? Yeah, yeah but it has to be about dancing. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, there's dancing in mine. I'm going to pass on this one. Do you know one? Do you, yeah, I can't can you think, think of one. one exactly, so I win because I came up with one where there's uh, dancing. <laughs> 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 oh, no, I'm not counting that. Ready. A Christmas movie set in a fantasy land. Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah. The Lion, the Witch, uh, and the Wardrobe. Uh, he, oh, the he got the full title. title. I'm sorry. Thank you. An 80s Christmas movie. Jingle All the Way. Die Hard. Die Hard. Right? It's in the 80s, right? What about Jingle All the Way? No, it's in the 90s. Is it really? We got to fact check that one too? No, I believe you. Okay. Yeah, I do believe you. All right. Just for the sake What's of the... What's the other similar the movie that he has? With... I was going to say... I thought you were going to say Gremlins. Oh, I could have said Gremlins. <laughs> no, nah, they were so bro- fast. Gremlins. Yeah, I was just going to be answering Gremlins yeah. to everything. Yeah. <laughs> Go. All right. A Christmas movie... About dogs. Gremlins. <laughs> about dogs. All dogs go to heaven. That's not a Christmas movie. That's not a Christmas movie. They gotta have Christmas in there, right? No. I, thought, I feel like I see lights. Then but how the Grinch stole Christmas. There's a little dog here. There is a little dog. But that's it's not, not about Is it about dogs? dogs? It's not about Cats dogs. Cats versus dogs. You like dogs? Love Marley. Movie. Uh, who let the dogs out? <laughs> who let the dogs out? It takes place in snow. Gremlins 2? Snow dogs. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to give the point Baldo, to me, because I came up with snow dogs. Baldo, Waldo. Is that during Baldo? Christmas? Nope. We're just thinking about snow equals yeah, Christmas. Well, All right. I'm at this put point. I mean, if you're from Miami, snow equals Christmas. All right, ready? That's fair. A fairy tale Christmas movie. Peter Pan. Polar Express. Hook. Uh, uh, Chronicles of Naughty Light, Lines with Witches, Wardrobe. That's actually technically correct. Yeah, that's right. The what? Yeah. I didn't it? want to say it again. <laughs> a fairy tale Christmas movie? Yeah, he just named the same one, but that's fair. Thank it counts, it counts. counts. I thought about... That was um, an alley-oop. <laughs> I thought about The Christmas Prince. Is That that was like a Netflix movie, right? Like, Okay. Okay. Is that with that Vanessa Hudgens? I think so, right? Yeah. 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 A Christmas movie about friendship. Uh, Jingle All The Way. <laughs> Have you seen Jingle All The Way? Shit. Dare I it's... say Gremlins again? Him and the 15-year-old boy? <laughs> Last night. <laughs> what is it? Love Actually. The Love before? Actually. Love before. Actually. Love Actually. Oh, The Night Before is a good one. The Night Before is night good. Before is but good. I said Love Actually first. Love Actually is like about romance. Yeah, love. I, the I Night Before. Remember. No, because there's some friendship there. There are some, but The Night Before but is But The Night Before. I don't even know what The Night accurate. Before is. Seth Rogen, baby. Yeah, yeah like oh, JGL. And Anthony Mack. I did not watch that one. I didn't watch it either. And it was like on it's not like everybody's list. It's I like that movie. It's good? Yeah. Okay. But it has Anthony Mackie in it. You see? I Which I like. We'll get into that. Yeah, okay. We'll get into that when we talk about that. All right. A Christmas movie about a journey. Jingle it's a beautiful West. life. Jingle all the way. I said what it. was that? It's a beautiful life. Polar Express. A jingle it's a all wonderful the way. life. It's a journey of getting that they're, toy. They're all. I'm gonna give that one to everyone. So <laughs> I mean, we all said it at the yeah. same time. To be I fair. felt like I was first. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Danny. Uh, boom. I have no points, man. I'm gonna give it to the. <laughs> pro- give him the pity. Oh yeah, points. I'm gonna give it to the producer. All right. Yeah. So, all right. A Christmas movie starring a kid. Home jingle Alone. Home Alone. Home Alone 2, yeah, Lost in New York. I heard it. I heard Home Alone from him first. Arnold goes to Narnia. Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way stars Arnold Schwarzenegger. Gonna <laughs> be right. my go to. This is gonna be a romantic Christmas. Love actually. I love you. Love actually. Jingle all the way. I, 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 I heard. I heard. I heard. I did. Yeah, that was me. I started love, love actually. And then. It's a romantic <laughs> Christmas comedy. Like, so love, love actually. actually. Like, after I've already handed the card to the winner. Yeah, I didn't even get okay. a chance to How many cards does everybody have? Two. Gave two, one. three, five. four, five. Dos. I got one. Okay. So, is that... Save me, Aslan. Help me win. Okay. So, should we... Is that, is that it? Or should we do How one? many do you have? Five. <laughs> one more. <laughs> okay, yeah, wait. One more. Winner takes all. One yeah, more, Lord. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm gonna... This is gonna be a layup for... Or it should be for one of you. A comedy Christmas. Gremlins. I'm going to give it to Jingle all the way, <laughs> yeah. finally. And I said winner takes off, so I won. What? Okay, I, I wanted to win on Gremlins. Yeah. Oh, that's also a comedy, but I heard Jingle all the way. Points first. for Ravenclaw. All right. So that See, brings if to... you stick to one movie, you're bound to get it right. All right. I mean, yeah, but you didn't win, though. <laughs> so that's a W, right? Yeah. All right. So hopefully you guys uh, found some games. Uh, we got this out of a box at a discount outlet, but... I'm box. pretty sure you could find a website that has questions like this. Just well, better as, questions yeah. than this. No, I mean, better than Ben Affleck-oriented uh, questions. The blind but, lawyer from Hell's Kitchen? Okay, so um, you guys mentioned movies, too. Really quick, let's give our audience some picks on what to watch 
with their families when they're at home. We kind of touched upon a little bit on the way, but what's your number one pick? You only got one pick. Only one movie that you can share. Or a TV show, I guess, but keep oh. it short. I'd say a movie. So, what do you guys want to recommend to our listeners? Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess that's the theme. Gremlins. I, I second that. That's not my vote, but I second that. I love that movie. Even though I rewatched it and it is bad, yeah, I still love that movie. It's not bad. It's just like the eighties distilled into a bottle. Yeah, like, honestly, yeah. yeah, I love that movie. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah. And if you watch Gremlins, I don't think Gremlins Two is during Christmas, but just watch Gremlins. Yeah, and Gremlins it, Two together. I think it holds up. Yeah, you got to watch Gremlins and Gremlins Two. So that's a good. Pick. I mean, holds up. Yeah, with heavy quotes. Grem- uh, Gremlins one's kind of scary. So for the little kids. So that's fair. Okay, Gremlins. Should we pick like a a family friendly and a not if you so want, family yeah, friendly? go. We don't have we didn't have any rules. We didn't even really plan this episode. <laughs> so. No limits. Got it. Go ahead, hit it. Me? Yep. Oh. Um Oh, you asked a question, but you didn't have anything in mind. Yeah. Okay. I got one. Go ahead. I'm not sure if it's a Christmas movie, mm-hmm. but Christmas is in it. Okay. The Godfather. Okay. Unpack that. How? Uh Corleone gets shot during Christmas. Okay, so there's just like <laughs> one moment that they get murdered no, during no, Christmas. No. Christmas movie. He doesn't get murdered, he gets shot. So okay. To me, that's right. a Christmas movie. Okay. So watch it, one of the greatest movies of all time. Just uh, part one? No, we watch part two. I've, <laughs> I've never seen part two. So what? what? Because remember, we were supposed to watch it with that special oh, way. The, but, the, but, but I did watch it the special no, way. No, we were so supposed to out. watch it together. When no, was no, that? We're doing that. We're when, doing that. When was that? Hmm? When was that supposed to happen? 2007. A long time ago, but we were waiting for our friend, and it never happened. But I stayed true and to it. And they died, so you stayed true to it. You whoa, still waiting? Whoa, she died? No, she didn't. <laughs> I saw her like last week. Lady? It was for Je- yeah, Jessica. No. Whoa, 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 whoa. We were supposed to watch whoa, it with you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry. Whoa, whoa. Too soon. There's still trauma there. Okay, no, we're going to do I'm sorry. Oh, lady. <laughs> I thought you said a lady. Like, I did not. The, the dog, I went over my head. I didn't know you were going to watch The Godfather Part 2 with my dog. No, Tom Hanks. Oh. <laughs> and Ben Affleck? No. That's the joke, too. No. All right, so... Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna accept, I guess. No, let's do that during this holiday. The epic, I have it. We'll watch it. I mean, there's that other epic that I we watched that you guys watched without me last year, but which one? Lord of the Rings trilogy. Oh, okay. It's not a Christmas movie, but it's, it's, it's something we, you watch we do, during yeah. Christmas, yeah. Except for last year, okay. pandemic ruined it. You, George? I mean, my my pick is a Charlie Brown Christmas. I just re I loved it as a kid. I didn't remember any of it. Why I loved it, but it's so like. Man, for something in the 60s, it's so modern in a sense, like, Charlie's attitude and, like... He's so edgy. Yeah, and the humor is, like, so adult in a sense, like, it's smart. It's like, why did I even like this as a kid? Maybe just (laughs) because I was depressed, I guess. But it's beautiful. It has a great message and it's super short. Again, Apple TV, 25 minutes. Do it. Watch a Charlie Brown Christmas. I only have Spotify. That's (laughs) not even remotely... Related to what we're talking about. All mm-hmm. right. What about you, Gabe? Um, I guess family friendly would be the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Um, oh yeah, that's, that's a, good, a good pick. I really love, I really love those movies, but yeah. particularly the first one I really enjoyed. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess not so family friendly. I think the night before. Okay. I think the night before. Um, I thought it was like, I thought it wasn't gonna be that good when I saw it. I saw it with it was like two of my other friends, my roommate, and another friend, mm-hmm. and it caught me off guard. And it actually. Like aside from like I guess the stoner culture that it, that it promotes and stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, I really, it's kind of about these friends who grew up together, and as they grow up and they're going through life, they can't always like do the same traditions, and like one of them's gonna have a child, and the like people are just going in different directions, and then they have like this one last night like where they can like, um, they try to find like this epic Christmas party, but they do it together, and then it's it's actually it's actually really good that I I enjoy it. That you you sold it to me. I'm gonna throw. It I do like that movie. I, I think it's like, on HBO Max. So. I do like Seth Rogen. Okay, I like JGO. I so. mean, the humor. I, the and humor and may not be for it. everybody, but I I don't right. know. Yeah. It caught me off guard, so I enjoy, and I like really like JGO. All right, awesome. But not Mackie. So the last big part of Christmas is the gift giving, and we did a secret Santa between the four of us. 
the three hosts of this show and our producer. So I don't know how we want to go about this. Who wants to, anybody want to go first? And we go in a circle. Like, so whoever goes first, then that person goes to the next. So. You want me to go first? Sure. All yeah. right. All right. So this person, I do a podcast with this person. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, clearly. I went to the same school as this person. Uh, that's also all uh, of us. Yeah, that's all awesome. of us, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> I am family with this person. Oh, well, that, that eliminates, eliminates one. one. And I went to college with this person. Aww. Aww. So gay. Not- oh, it's me. <laughs> yeah, it's you. Oh. I didn't go to he college, didn't go to college with, with me. He's like 10 years older than <laughs> yeah. me. I don't know. Maybe you guys so were here you go. <laughs> he didn't go to college it. with me. Open it. Open it. I didn't have tape, so I just wrapped it around. It's okay. Yeah, get through it quickly because more than me. don't want to hear you unwrapping it. You don't want? You don't want ASMR? Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess we could try that. Oh, we're doing ASMR. We're doing the Pop Rocks. (laughs) Okay. Put those away. (laughs) For those that can't see, I'm just squeezing the bag. I can really just pull it out really easily. Let's pull. Yeah, because we're a bunch of guys, so nobody actually wrapped it. For those of you that can't see, all of you, we are ooing at Mandalorian socks, particularly Baby Yoda Grogu socks and Mando helmet socks. Two pairs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you. Five hug you if I can move and that makes yeah, too much yeah, noise. Yeah, no, we don't want to make it. Yeah. But thank you. We it's have beautiful. a producer here. We can't have him. Oh, do I get this popcorn bucket that says winner, by the way? How's it? This is me. Dub. All right, your turn, George. No, why is it? No, it's the person that you <laughs> oh, called Oh, your on. turn, Gabriel. So it's me. Yeah. Okay, so... um, I'm, I, I, don't, I can't really do the whole suspense thing. Um, but with my gift... In my hurry to get over here, I might have actually left it and didn't actually wrap it, oh. but I have it. Oh. You ruined Christmas. Oh. It's the Nintendo cleaner thing all over again. That's it. But I think the gift will be good enough. Um, you stuck ho- to the $5 ho- yeah, budget, right? We had a $5 budget. It was a five below well, gift exchange. Okay, so I actually do have a picture of the gift. Okay. Funny enough, it's a and I just sent it to the person that... Oh, now everybody's going to check their phones now. That has it. Is it? Oh, it's not me. It's not It's not me either. Oh, it's me! <laughs> oh, oh, wait, my daddy. phone's on... Uh, I'm sorry, my phone is on Do Not Disturb, and I have... No, it's not me. You know, I well, the person that I sent it to also has Do Not Disturb on, so maybe you want to take <laughs> that off. Is it me? I don't, Wait, did you not? I never used the not disturb even in my sleep. Oh, you I got it. Me. Oh, it oh. was me. <laughs> Danny. I mean, producer. producer. <laughs> oh, we peaked there. Oh, okay. Yeah. All Thank right. you. Wait, I but like we can yes. see what it is? Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to sure. describe what it is. You just look at a photo and you're like, oh. It's a, a great- Naruto poster. Nice. nice. Okay, so with this uh, poster, I got it at Comic-Con. Mm-hmm. Um, it was like custom art and I got it on the last day. How much was it? No, he Are, he didn't spend anything on it. Now he said, I guess that's the, no. But originally, that thing is like I think it's like fifteen dollars a piece. I bought like three, but mm-hmm. like that was the last day, so they were selling for five bucks a pop. Ah, ah. he stayed within the rules. Oh, nice, oh. and so and yeah, I appreciate it. Cool, Merry Christmas. Cool, cool. All right, I guess that means it's my turn. Uh huh. And I'm guessing. It's not it's the two people that went already. <laughs> I got oh. you something very special. Okay. Oh, Who? Give me this giant George. bag. Yeah, that's right. It's me. I gave you a giant bag. It's me. It's D D P. There's a giant bag here. Inside of it, there is <laughs> a poster that says. Is that an Eternal poster? Trends poster. Oh, it's the Eternals. <laughs> it's an animated poster of the Eternals. What? Okay. I'm sorry, Ed. Okay. And Wait, there's a, there's, a, there's a Groot in there. Oh, there's there's a little Groot keychain. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's a this is just off in the blow so from the time. This is all okay. five dollars. At least yeah. something you could use. This is nice. This is cute, baby Groot. I did talk about my love for baby Groot in an earlier episode. Is there cash in and that card? And a little card that says, "So sorry to hear about your accident." <laughs> <laughs> little girl in the rain with her umbrella flipped inside out oh and man this is a very personal note to you but you should give that to that him. card is fantastic it's for a, lady for lady you should yeah. give that to him for lady it oh, says yeah. sending sunny smiles to cheer you up and wishing you more of everything that will help you get strong move forward and feel better i see it yeah i appreciate you 
Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry about the accident. Is there something <laughs> you know that I don't know? You don't remember? Oh, I No, I guess. You don't remember? You should take a picture of this and make this thing. Okay. <laughs> so I think there's a trend here that's been developing um, on the show that I'm not really good with following <laughs> rules. So I stuck to the oh, $5 present in a sense. Okay, let me... Oh, if for those of you that can't see... So we record this in my studio, so I get advantage and I can hide the presents ahead of time. So now I'm unveiling, I'm opening the door. I do owe it's you a, a, switch? a poster, by the way. <laughs> we already, I already did that for this guy. So I got... I got Link. Okay, so here you go. Yeah. All right, ready? Do I open it? Yeah, open it. What, do you open it? That's the whole point of this exercise. Okay. I don't know what All right, are you ready? I'm ready. It's your favorite <laughs> wrestler's shirt. Brian Danielson's blank <laughs> white oh, tee. Finally. Oh, black, and, you, and it comes in a three pack. So you can watch, you can wear Brian Danielson's plain white tee every day of the week. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This yeah. is fantastic. Yeah. So I there's a couple of other gifts too. Are those for me as well? Yeah, yeah, these are for you as well. Oh. They were five dollars each. So wait what? Oh, oh. <laughs> I didn't understand the game. Ooh. So this is that represents wrestling. This represents TV. Oh, a Dwight bobblehead. Yep, the actual bobblehead oh, that, that he, Dwight has on does his Does it he put on it the one he has on his desk? Yep, that's the one. Oh, the same exact one yep. from, the, from the set. Yes, I got it from Oh, that was five dollars? He doesn't have a lot of money now, so he's selling them on eBay. What? Peacock, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it says Pete. Ooh, it's so wow. it's brand new, man. Look at wow. this. Ooh, wow. So are you gonna leave it in the box? Or you can take it out. I guess I'm gonna do like Dwight and take it out. Yeah, I think so. I have it, like it's a, for your office. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. How do you know I have office stuff in my office? Oh, well, now you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, now we all know. And then, and then finally, this small little token, Ooh. right, to represent ASMR. Yep. There you go. To represent comics. Your own Socks. pair of who? All right. Whoa. I mean, Ant Man. <laughs> Those aren't Michael Douglas socks. <laughs> no, they're definitely Paul Rudd socks. Oh, thank you so much. All right. So, I win again. <laughs> or did I win? I'm not sure. I didn't follow the rules. I think Link won. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Link won. Okay. So, that brings us to the end of the show, right? Yeah. At least Linky Dad. Yeah. So, thank you for joining us. On this blessed occasion, no wordy outro about existentialism or our life. Just a little blessing to go out for you and your families. Hope that wherever you are, you're safe and sound and enjoying every moment of the Christmas season. Till next time, see ya. And watch Gremlins. Oh, Gremlins for sure. And, and Lord of the Rings. Just also, Gremlins. Mostly Gremlins. Just Gremlins.